Sand? Sand! Oh my god, we got the sand! These men have never been happier to see sand. It's kind of wholesome, you know? Guillermo del Toro? El Tor. Whoa, wait. Wait. No. Bergman hit will happen today, and I got two of my best guys on it. Nestor and uh, Chewy Flores. Uh, we'll see about that. You mean the guys from the podcast? They record on Thursdays. That's good. <laughs> so the guys who are going to each week, they rate and review a different gadget, but none of the gadgets work. They did a jacket that cooks s'mores in its pocket. <laughs> it's really stupid. So just roast marshmallows? What do you mean, cooks s'mores? Just roast marshmallows? When they get sticky in the jacket? It's a show about gadgets, but you have to listen and imagine what the gadgets look like. Yeah. Yeah, that's facts. If you want to see the gadgets themselves, you, you click on it. Right, but I'm listening while I'm driving. <laughs> Am I supposed to you know, pull over, click on that link? Yeah. There are better podcast I'll do ideas. That. I'll start doing day. that. Okay. <laughs> the hell was that? I'm sure you've got some protocols in, in place to protect your witnesses, right? But if a defendant is willing and determined, it can be hard. But that's usually ex-military, so I'm not too worried. Barry is ex-military. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you own a gun, Mr. Cousineau? Just doesn't know how to use it. I'm just going to go into hiding. They always find you. I've had many cases like this, but I can't talk about them. You are so you're not very inspiring. And when you're outside this office, keep your mouth shut. Will do. <laughs> Tom, I have to ask you a question. It's completely hypothetical. Do you think it would be an issue if I invited a reporter to my theater? Er oh my god! Perform the one-man show for fucking Lon O'Neill! What is <laughs> What the hell, dude? We have to stop that article from coming out! What does that mean? What the hell? Noho Hank and Crystal Ball are an item? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they, they, wow, they're actually that... really in love. That must be nice. Got really into the specifics. Damn, Barry. We looked into this Sally Reed. She'll have to completely give up her old life, her family, her friends. Which she has none no of, contact so with anyone be... from her past. How does she feel about this? That part she'd probably be fine with, but leaving the the Hollywood life behind might be a problem. You said I make her feel safe. Oh, dude, you are really taking that and running with it. Oh my God. I'm writing a piece about Detective Janice Moss and the events surrounding her death. I mean, it's only fair you get a chance to respond to the accusations that Gene Cousineau's been making against you. What's he saying? What do you mean? He's saying that you killed her, you kidnapped him, and that you threatened his family. Here's that. Why don't you tell me what happened the night you were arrested? Why did you go into Jim Moss's house? Fuck you, dude. Listen, you know, I got a, a good case here, mm -hmm. and I'm cooperating and everything, so I don't, if he keeps running his mouth and- Oh and, my God. And, if you, and yeah. if you publish it. I mean, I'm gonna publish it. Barry, you idiot. I'm only trying to be fair here. You know what be fucking fair? It's if Gene Cousineau stop telling my life story. That's what be fucking fair. Tell Gene Cousineau to shut his fucking mouth. Yikes. Awkward. Uh, and today I'm going to teach you how to be actors. I learned my craft from Mr. Gene M. Cousineau. You will be learning his techniques through me. Yes. Look, how many of you are here because I'm the entitled cunt girl? I know about you, but that's not why I want to take the classes. Same. I, mean, I actually thought that the video was super unfair and overblown. That was an ugly moment, but it was genuine. And ultimately, it's where I want you to go in this class. Huh? We have to be the ugliest versions of ourselves. Huh? We all have it in us. And to try Honey. Okay, did everybody bring a scene? Well, good for Sally, I guess. I'm so sorry to bother you at home. I told you, leave me alone. I spoke to Barry Berkman. Oh my God, what an invasive dick. I really think that Gene's trying to railroad him. Well, I told him what Mr. Cousineau said to me and- This fucking dick, dude. You spoke to Cousineau. Oh yes, I did. Oh yes, I did. Not even attempting to sound like it was anonymous. My God. Let's go have a chat in my garage. Yes, let's go. Do the busted face, y'all break up. I already sold you out. Oh, you can like boo-boo the food, nah. <laughs> That's embarrassing, man. I've also been called Big Bird, Fish Tits, and Baby Shoes. <laughs> By the end of the day, Barry won't be a problem anymore. We have to stop communicating. Keep your mouth shut. Play stupid, and you would be paid for it on the other end. Oh my okay. god. Hank sounds hard as hell. All business. My, my, my god. Like he knows what he's talking about. Hey, buddy. Hello, take a break. Oh my god, he's alive? The elders have a new contingent to run LA. You either get rid of those guys and join us, or we will wipe you out. 
Man, it's just sand. For some reason I thought that guy died. I do so fucking much for you. This is what you do. This is what you fucking do! Shit! This is not a guy you just let out into the real world. Oh my god, he's terrifying. So fucking much for people. The hell are you? Podcaster? The hell was that? Are you sure that this is Lon's house? Yes, I'm positive this is. What are you doing? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! That's extreme! It's the only way, Gene. The only way. What is this shot? <laughs> Hurry up! That was illegal! That's a kitchen in there. What did you do? I found his office. What are you doing? All right, come on, we gotta smash this. Uh-oh. No, no, everything's stored in the monitor. <laughs> stored in the monitor. Gene Cousineau? Mom's wife in the house. In the house. What's... Oh, God, I'm actually worried. He's gonna throw the monitor into the pool. <laughs> Did he tell you where he was going? No. Well, he said he needed to check on a victim's father. Do you know who that is? I picked Sunset Boulevard. Well, I, I thought maybe we would do something from a play or something. Then I saw that everybody brought in movie scenes, so... Well, did you bring in something from a play? I, no. <laughs> I guess. What are you doing here? I'll just excuse myself. You're charming. Is that why you want to be an actress? Do people say to you, Oh, you're so pretty. You're so charming. You should be an actress. Do they say that to you? Oh, she's about to get Jean up in this bitch. Did you book something? Oh. They wanted hot girl and... You fit the bill. Only trouble is you can't act, so you come to me. You think you can come in here to my class, unprepared, waste <laughs> my time. <laughs> you're being mean. Oh. What, nobody's ever been mean to you before? Why? Because your personality, your big brain, your taste in old movies, or maybe it's just because they all wanted to fuck you. Stop. Oh, my goodness. Say the line. I'm big. She went all kusa now. Of... You okay? You know I only had to say that, right? Jesus, classic page out of Kusanau's book. Our that was abusive. <laughs> well, it's Kusanau's method. Just because it was done to you does not mean you need to do it to us. Yeah, look how you turned out, Hannah. And um, when we come back, different generation sitting here. We'll do some oh my god exercises. The biker was just sitting in the back row. Holy shit. I love how there was no attention brought to that. If you missed it, you missed it. There was no zoom in. There was nothing. But the biker was sitting in the back row. That's crazy. I love that. That was actually kind of chilling to notice that. You have received a collect call from... Barry. Hey, Barry. We got a situation. Mr. Kusno, Gene Kusno, he's my acting teacher. He's uh, he's talking to the press. I'm trying to be discreet here. If, if he was a dog, he, he'd need to go to a new home. Jesus, that's not discreet at all. I need a, I need a dog catcher. <laughs> God, you snake, Barry. You absolute snake. Sold him down the river, and then like a half hour later, hey, can I, can I get your help, man? Why are you lying to me, Barry? Ouch. Barry, I have been nothing but a loving and good friend to you. Like, all you do is you take. I, I, don't, I don't know where this is coming from. Get him, Hank. Get him. I've been nothing oh, yeah? but good to people. I'm a good friend. I am a good person. Yeah. That is who I am. You keep convincing yourself of that. Then why are you talking to the feds? <laughs> See, now why are you lying? Oh my god. See, I wouldn't talk to the feds. You think I'd do that, motherfucker? You think that's the kind of person? Oh, you gaslighting bitch. You can get dog catcher for me, all right? I'm not doing shit for you, Barry. Yes! Stand your ground! What would I say? Because if I fucking get out of here, man, you are. The day you get out of the prison is my fucking birthday, man. Is that what it is, Hank? You think you're fucking tough? You're not fucking tough, Hank. You don't know what fucking tough is, motherfucker. Oh my god! You murdering, self centered, lying, fucking narcissistic piece of shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Oh my god, good for Hank. It's so sad to see that Hank's going through this, but it's so thank God for him, though, for his sake. Oh, you didn't. He didn't do that. Did you do a one man show for Lon O'Neill? Let's go and talk to Lon. Lon ain't gonna be talking to anybody for a long time. There's no way he did anything bad to Lon. And he just showed up on your doorstep like this. Yes. Yeah, he just delivered him home. <laughs> Jim had the opportunity to take care of Fuchs, but dropped him off to the police instead, so he wouldn't he wouldn't kill this reporter. Please say something. Lie to Kenny Xenix. Dude, that How long has he spoken German? He doesn't speak German. <laughs> 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 what? What is He's not eating skills! Come bar? Dude, this Jim Moss's garage method is crazy. What? <laughs> I have one scene and I have to nail it. I need your help, will you do it? purpose
Me too. And which one are you? I'm guessing he thinks he's not Rain Man. I haven't seen Rain Man, so I don't know the dynamic there. My friend, Barry Berkman, his life is in danger. He's in special housing. He's got a hit out on him. Sit down. Dude, Fuchs still trying to help him. Has Fuchs really turned over a new leaf? Shit's going down! It's special housing! Damn it! No! No! <laughs> These are some of our agents from Witness Protection. I've protected people like yourself for, man, it's been 20 years now. We've lost a few over the years, broken a few eggs. Here's what's important. Those eggs that cracked, those eggs weren't trustworthy. Oh my God, this actor, what is he doing? Tell us what you like, you tell us what you need. We'll see to it that we can get you everything we can. Huh? That guy's here to kill me. What? No, he's with you. Shit. This is for Chris O'Mara and Hank. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> so was that guy just a decoy? <laughs> oh my God, he's in the ceiling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit! He took care of business. Yeah, no, the that recognizable actor, Fred something, I think, he just choked. I don't know. They have a podcast. I guess being a hitman must be like a third or fourth job because he doesn't seem very good at it. That's crazy. Even though I thought they said that they're the best men. Jesus. Barry handled shit. <laughs> Did Barry leave? Where the hell is Berkman? Don't end. No! Oh my god, that's incredible, dude. No! All right, man, and now we are off, dude. Let's go. That is crazy. What an insane ending there. I don't remember what Toro said. I think he said that those two were supposed to be his best guys. Maybe his, that just kind of shows how high or low the bar is for his guys, that they ended up being the best. I mean, the guy in the ceiling, that's a good idea. I mean, it's a good idea, but what was that actor's name? I want to say Fred Savage, but I mean, obviously it wasn't Fred fucking Savage. Fred Armisen. That was my second guess. Fred Armisen. Interesting to see him show up. I don't even know what the hell he pulled out to begin with what that first weapon that he pulled out was i have no idea what the hell that even was but it exploded on his hand and he lost his uh his podcast partner so sucks to be those guys so barry's now on the loose question mark quote unquote he could be doing anything he could be anywhere i feel like he he would have a long way to go to escape the prison from where he was at so i wonder if that'll be continued in the next episode what a fun cliffhanger what a cool cliffhanger to do sally's making progress kind of you know she tried her Gene Cousinau method on the class and found out that hey the Terrence Fletcher approach doesn't it's, it's not the appropriate approach anymore and not to say it ever was but this next generation that you're trying to, to do this to they're too smart and they're, they're not going to handle that shit they're not going to take it they're not going to allow themselves to take that shit they value their mental health so good for them you can still see that like that trauma that that moment from last season where she killed that biker that moment's never going away like i said that moment where it was just the the the, the class the shot of the class a ton of students one of the students was the biker that she killed and that is just incredible I love how like it's a blink and you miss it thing that I, I'm curious to see how many people did miss. I feel like I'm smart in catching it, but perhaps it was more prompt. I mean, the shot did go for a minute, so I'm sure you, you were meant to catch it. But the fact that it never like the sound had never changed. There was never any camera changes. It was just Sally speaking to the class or whatever the hell. And it was just a shot of the class and then it cut away. So it, it didn't seem like there was any draws to him in the audience. So I, I don't know. I just think that's really cool. Cool way to do that. And I love that Hank is starting to he's standing his ground and he's he seems to take it to heart when Cristobal called him soft or said that people think he's soft in the last episode and he really stood his ground in a very satisfying way in this episode man it's just too bad that they could not find better hitmen kusanao's hanging with jim moss not sure what's gonna happen there i'm super damn excited to find out what happens from here where this goes i'm so damn excited because now hank has drawn his line in the sand kusanao has done it and like barry's only got sally so he'll be gunning for hank and kusanao i'm so damn excited to see where this goes this show is incredible